Max, congratulations on your induction into the Hall of Fame. Thank you. I have a few questions I'd like to ask you about your background. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to start off with, what individual had the greatest influence on you and your coaching career? Uh, actually, I guess I would uh, say that Myron Roderick did. I used to watch him a lot when I'd go to, their, to his practice, well, when he was still wrestling. Uh, I would I would go to their practices, and uh, Art Griffith was the coach at the time, and uh, Myron was uh, always a, a a great competitor and someone that you know you, you really liked to watch. Did you grow up in Stillwater? Uh, yes, yeah, I went to high school in Stillwater, oh. and I went to Oklahoma State University. So you can yeah. see where my inspiration comes from. All right. Who is or was your idol? Would that be Myron again? Yeah, that would that would be Myron. Uh, like I say, I, I watched him wrestle, and then I watched him coach, and uh, I really liked his philosophy and technique that he that he coached. I kind of uh, that's what I put in my coaching, and uh, it's <laughs> mostly based on uh, positioning and motion. That was one of their big themes: motion, position. And actually, you can't separate the two. You got to have both. So, and they used to uh, uh, work a lot on takedowns, and they were the best in the country on takedowns. And uh, it was fun to watch them out. To me, I call them slick. They they would take those guys down, and it's so easy, and it was just beautiful. Well, uh, Max, what do you attribute your success in wrestling to? Well, I it, it would have to be having great kids, great great material, and uh, I'm, I'm getting the same thing at the college level right now. Um, now, at uh, the high school level, how can you attribute that to great kids? I mean, you you can't go out and recruit them. N no, but I was fortunate, and and we we had uh, uh, youth programs, and uh, that that fed in, and. Uh, you know, you you always you got the good ones, so uh, that's what you had to do to survive. And and I had a lot of great kids to work with, so uh, I di I didn't recruit them. But uh, at the college level now, that that's uh, Tommy Chesbro was uh, one of my uh, friends in high school, and he went on to Oklahoma State to wrestle. And and uh, the, something he told me that he said, you know, what makes a great college coach is his ability to recruit. And I was coaching high school at the time, so it didn't mean anything to me. But now that I'm coaching college, that brings back yeah. his advice. So uh, Those words have a lot of yeah. meaning for you now. Right. As a coach, is there any one match that really stands out in your mind? Uh, yeah, a couple. <laughs> one was uh, uh, Darren Stevens. Uh, this was 1982, and he was in the, the state finals. And he was behind by two points with about 20 seconds left. And, uh, you know, if, if he would have tried a single leg or a high crotch, he probably wouldn't have scored it. If he did score it, he wouldn't score more than two. He's two down. And, uh, and usually with 20 seconds left, they can, they can just kind of stall you out and that sort of thing. So he hit this kid with an inside trip and tripped him right to his back held him long enough to get to the kid got an escape right at the buzzer and, and he won it by one so that was really an exciting match there uh, I, I might say that Monty Mueller was refing that match and uh, he was right down on that one really quick and uh, it was a you know really close call but anyway we got the call and then that won the state championship for him so oh, and then the other one was uh, in 1980, my son was in the semifinals. It was one of those situations where you wrestle your championship match in the semifinals. And he was going up against one of the Ke uh, Kessler oh, yeah. kids. And uh, it was coming down to the end of the third period. And, and Mike was down by a one. Actually, it was one to nothing. Uh, this Kessler was a real long kid, and Mike just couldn't get out from under him. And we'd been, I'd, I'd seen a little bit of. Uh, Dave Schultz's counters, leg buying counters, you know, and uh, where he'd bridge up high. Have you ever seen him on that? Anyway, we'd been work at, working with it in our practices, and uh, for some reason, Mike reached down and put the, put the kid in a vine, and then he countered it, 
and uh, end up getting a two-point reversal and two-point near fall at the right at the end, and he won that match. And so, and then he won easily in the finals. So, uh, but that semifinal match for Mike was great. Max, why did you decide to become a coach? <laughs> uh, actually, I, I don't look at it that way because I didn't decide it. It was just kind of destiny. It, it happened. Uh, like I say, I was, I was raised in Stillwater, Oklahoma. I went to Oklahoma State University, and, and that town is, you know, evolves around wrestling. Or, so uh, I got a lot of inspiration there. Uh, from that, and, and I see it as uh, uh, inspiration, and then I got an opportunity when I first started teaching, and this uh, gentleman from Madeira High School, that's where the first school I taught in, uh, was a wrestling coach there, his name Vern Brooks, and uh, we got to talking one day before, right after the start of school, and he said, well, why don't you come out and help me? And I said, I've never wrestled before, you know. And so I said, that's okay, come on. And uh, so uh, I was a little bit shaky on it, you know, whether to do that or not. But anyway, I finally decided, well, I'll, I'll give it a try. And at least I can mop the mats. <laughs> so anyway, he, he uh, I, I worked with him for two years. And after that, it was kind of like a drug addiction. I was hooked, so. Max, what were you teaching at that point? Uh, I was teaching uh, industrial arts classes, mostly woodworking. Oh. And something I've seen in coaches, uh, a lot of coaches are shop teachers. And, and I think it's the mechanical, uh, if you have a strong mechanical aptitude, I think that helps you as a coach, as far as technique goes. And I uh, like uh, Dave Rottenberg at, at uh, Red Bluff High School, I don't know if you know Dave or not, he's a shop teacher, and several other cases of uh, coaches that or shop teachers and, and, and turn out to be pretty good coaches. That's interesting. What would you like people to remember about you, Max? Well, I, I would hope uh, fairness. You know, you, you, as a coach, you always try to treat everyone fairly. And uh, sometimes I think back, and there were times probably I lost my cool a little bit, and uh, I'm not pleased with that. So uh, I try to treat treat everyone fair and and uh, that sort of thing, so. Um, how has wrestling contributed to your life? Oh, wow. Uh, you know, it, it's pretty much after I got into it and, uh, you know, in college, uh, I, I uh, you know, it just inspired me. And then, but looking back over my life, there's parts of my life my family suffered because of it because I let it control me and that sort of thing so uh, that's the good and the bad of it but it, it has been a great life well Max again congratulations on your on the honor of being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall thank of you. Fame and thank, thank you. you my honor thank you <laughs>